Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today, we're doing something I haven't done in a while. And no, it's not make a video, but in a way, yes. <laughs> and today, I am going to be making ramen. And um, I'm a little bit hungry. I just got back from uh, class and I'm uh, in college now. And uh, I'm majoring for nursing, so yeah, that's exciting. So today is actually Saturday and I have a Saturday class. And y'all are probably gonna be like, what the heck, that's crazy, a week in class, especially on the Saturday? Me personally, no, -uh. <laughs> I hear you, I really do. But the reason why I chose it is because um, the subject that I, that I did today was general psychology. And it's one of the classes that I need to take as a prerequisite, so I, I just wanted to do Saturday, because why not? And uh, I don't want to take two classes in the same day, because I am I'm just slightly lazy. I'm, I'm going to be real with you guys. I currently have the water boiling right here. Uh, you guys didn't see it yet, but um, it's boiling. And uh, if you can tell by the thumbnail, I am making the bowl that carbonara cheese noodles and then uh, also uh sometimes i like to put some cheese on it just to make it a little bit more cheesier than it really is um just for just for fun and um yeah also i have uh some pretty taki <laughs> it's basically a uh, rice seasoning so um i usually put it on top of my ramen and it kind of adds like a, like a different flavor to it and um yeah i, I kind of just like i like the flavoring to it um some ramens actually do provide the furikake for you just like the uh the one time spicy the two times i think there's like a four time spicy ramen and uh, it will come in like a little i think black and white um packet and uh, you'll see like strips of seaweed in there you'll see uh like, uh, what is it? Like, those little seeds in there, and there's some other things, I think. Uh, there's salt in there as well, but uh, other than that, that's basically it, and it's pretty good. Oh, we're just, we're just waiting, and also, I apologize in advance, but, um, you can actually hear Jinky. You might hear her, um, either, like, barking or growling or just walking around, so <laughs> I apologize. The reason why I'm sinking very low and I might have to adjust the volume when I edit this video is because um, my parents are sleeping right now and um, I kind of last minute didn't think about what I wanted to eat after class so I just decided to come home and then I got hungry so I was just like, why not make ramen? But also, why not make a video out of it? Because it's kind of quiet in the house so I'll, I'll just try my best to be quiet but also make a video, you know? Alrighty, so uh, I'll come back when the water is all boiled. Alrighty, so now we have the um, the water boiling. So now we're gonna put the ramen into the the, the pot. <laughs> I almost forgot what it was called. Okay, this is gonna be hard to do with one hand. I probably should have got it out already, hold on. Wait, what if I do that? Right, oh, look at me, master. Boom. Got it. Alrighty, now we're just gonna let this sit. I have a thing, uh, or I have a lid for it, but it, it's not the right size, so we're just gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that there, and we're just gonna let it simmer for about two to three minutes. Also, guys, I didn't even realize, but on the the little bottle for the furikake, if you look right here, it literally says ramen right there. And these are the other stuff you can like put it on. And that's so crazy, I didn't even realize. It's interesting. Popcorn. You know what? I don't know if you guys have tried it before or heard of it, but there's this thing called hurricane popcorn. And it's literally just like popcorn, a whole bunch of butter, and um, kurikake, of course. And then they have like little bits of, uh, little bits of these crackers. I don't know, but it's pretty good. Also, in the packet of the ramen, it comes with uh, this little sauce packet. Which is basically, it's not too spicy, I would say. Definitely has a kick though. Um, like, uh, I wouldn't say, it doesn't really hurt my stomach, but um, I, I probably wouldn't eat this before work. 
but I do think there's probably like two times I get before and it didn't really go well because I'm moving around a lot so um yeah <laughs> and then so how I mentioned the cheese and this is it so basically it gives the ramen that flavor of I want to like compare it to like chicken alfredo sauce or like alfredo yeah alfredo sauce and uh, it's pretty good actually and then I'll, I'll show you guys it later on when the noodles are done but it, it literally does it like alfredo like powder or like sauce you know Alrighty, so the noodles are at the consistency or like the right amount of softness that I like. So I'm actually gonna put the um, the oven to like medium and uh, I'm gonna leave about a cup of water left in there um, just so that I can add the, the cheese in there so it can melt with the, the noodles, if that makes sense. Alright, so now I'm gonna put the cheese, I'm gonna evenly spread it out. that'll be good and then i actually moved it back to three just because i think i thought the medium was a little bit too high like although i want it to like like i guess like melt fast but i i, I thought it would like burn the noodles so just putting it down a tad bit just to be safe i'm gonna let it sit uh i think i usually wait about like a minute and a half to like two minutes around there i just i kind of just eyeball it like I, I don't really like time it like if i'm gonna be real with y'all <laughs> but it's just like around there at least if i had to give you an estimate just around two like minutes all right so now <laughs> i'm going to be taking out the soup aka the wet cheese queso like inconsistency we have in the pot okay so now that i got it all out i'm gonna put it into my bowl that i'm gonna be eating out of and put all the rest of the stuff <laughs> try out a brain part look how yummy that looks <laughs> okay i tried to find like the most randomest like angle so just so that you guys can see the ramen but anyway i'm gonna mix it um so now we have the ramen in the bowl First, I like to do sauce, but whatever which way you prefer, totally up to you. This is literally like your ramen, you know what I mean? But uh, the way that I do it is I put the sauce first just so it can have like a little bit of a wider consist consistency. And then we'll add the powder just so it's not all like crunchy, you know what I mean? I tried to just lick it once because I think it got on my finger. And like I cough so bad, so uh, I, I wouldn't recommend just licking the sauce unless you're like crazy and you just love spicy and then go for it, girl. You know, but me personally, no, no boy, no. <laughs> Okay, so now that we are done mixing the sauce, this is what it looks like. It actually looks a little bit more orange than I expected. I think I, like since I'm making a video, it looks a little bit more perfect than what I usually how how I usually make it. But it looks nice. It looks decent. Alright, so now we're gonna add this one, the powder, and then after this, we'll add the kurikaki, and then we're literally done with the ramen. Just mix it. Kind of just make sure the powder doesn't go on the sides of the bowl, and if it does, it's okay. You can just scrape it off, but I, I just try to keep the powder within the noodles, just because I want to be able to refrain myself from having to like, you know, go like that and stuff. But, um, yeah. It's just easier that way, more or less time consuming. Alrighty, and now we're done with the powder. And if you don't like furikake, this will literally be it. And you can literally just enjoy it just like this. Or if you want to take it a little bit step further on flavor wise, or, or flavor wise, then just dab it up with some furikake. Do the furikake to whatever of your liking, and this is what it should look like just so i know that y'all can see it this is giving me like reassurance but anyway yes and that's the final product 
Alright, thank you guys so much for watching me make ramen. I know it's been a while, but um, I, I just thought, why not? I mean, even if it's just as simple as, like, you know, just me making a dish, I thought, you know, why not just come and say bye, or bye, uh, say hi real quick, you know? And uh, if you have uh, joined me and made ramen yourself, uh, be sure to let me know, because I, I don't know if y'all just be watching my videos just for, like, for fun, or if you guys actually follow, but if not, that's totally okay, and I don't understand that. Sometimes, like, I'll just watch, like, people making food, and I'll just be sitting in my bed, like, at night, and I'll just be, like, making myself suffer, basically, and I'm just like, I'm hungry, but I never want to get up, you know? But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, I miss you guys so much, and, um, yeah, I, I'm not too sure when the next video will come out because I honestly, with this this video was really like last minute for me because I was just like, damn, I, I haven't made a video in a while. So yeah, also I'm turning 18 this month. Oh my God, crazy, right? <laughs> Anyways, love you guys so much and uh, I'll see you guys maybe on my birthday. Maybe, I, it really depends. If not, I'm really sorry. But um, if you want to see more of me, I'm really active on TikTok, so y'all can just go follow me there. My username's down below, you can just go follow me. Maybe we can be mutuals. Maybe, make some friends, you know? <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.